Good morning and welcome to the new trading day. There will be an, a, a new referendum coming to the European Union and that will be an Italy referendum on the 4th of December of this year. Um, actually what they try to attempt is, or try to do in Italy is to um, like cap the power the Senate in Rome has and um, like uh, deliver that power back to the local governments and that is an anti Brussels um, like trend that we have there in Italy so that is going to be very very important for the uh, European markets. Now Italy is trying to do something before that referendum to, um, to like exploit the low interest rates uh, like Goldman Sachs, HSBC, JP Morgan and Unicredit are um, actually the issuers of something that has only been circling around um, rumor-wise in the past uh, days and now it's official that those um, banks will issue uh, or help at least issue um, or do an auction for a 50-year Italian government bond. So Italy is like Belgium, France, Ireland and Spain actually um, helping to um, or trying to exploit the low interest rate environment. And yesterday there was the price of gold dropping sharply. What was the reason for that? Well, there was the president of the Federal Reserve of Cleveland saying we are ready to hike or at least in her opinion the markets are ready to see an interest rate um, uh, hike this year either in November or December. She didn't say the months but markets are um, going up with the probabilities for those, um, uh, for those Fed meetings in December. They expect with a chance of 63% now that rates are going higher. And surprisingly yesterday rumors made the round about the uh, future monetary policy of the European Central Bank. Rumors um, was coming from Bloomberg and um, uh, they, those rumors are saying that the ECB is about to taper its QE program by 10 billion um, in the first uh, taper step coming from March 2017 and onwards. Um, so the ECB is not as markets expected going to increase the duration of its running um, QE program but it's going to um, taper it down. So that would be normalization of monetary policy in the United States and the ECB, if that normalization with the Fed is coming, the ECB would follow suit. So that is something that pressured the price of the, um, the price of gold yesterday. Then in the evening hours there was Brent crude oil making new um, highs for this latest move, $52 in Brent crude oil still is very very important for this market because if it sh breaks out above $52 then there is some chance for a technical buy signal and a chance for a continuation of the rally.